He is a top cold-blooded assassin. The other is a little rookie who was cheated by the assassin master. The rookie apprentice and the top killer in the world of chaos and terrible killers will set off what kind of storm and huge waves. Today we are going to tell the story of a top killer who enters a world full of crises with his apprentice. Arthur is a top assassin. He can disguise any assassination as an accident. That's how he came to be known as the mechanic. Steve is the son of Arthur's best friend. Steve wants to avenge his father's death and by chance becomes Arthur's student. He and Arthur enter the world of killers. The story begins with a murder. Arthur infiltrates his target's home and sinks to the bottom of the pool. He easily strangles the target after he enters the pool. After completing his mission, Arthur dresses up and leaves. He calculated his escape time. Then he found the right spot and jumped down. Arthur thus successfully escaped from the target's search area. Arthur returned home after the mission and put on a vinyl record to compile information. He didn't look like a man who had just killed a man. Arthur saw the news and left home to meet his friend Harry at the hotel. Harry, as Arthur's friend, is also the one who gives the mission. The conversation between the two of them ended after the money was settled. Arthur's last mission had just ended when he received his next mission, but Arthur's next target was his best friend Harry. Arthur confirmed that the information was correct and went straight to the owner of the murder company. The boss met with him and told him the reason for Harry's assassination. He said that Harry betrayed the company and betrayed some of the staff. Harry caused the company to lose a lot of money. The quality of a killer is to be cold-blooded and ruthless. So Arthur did what a hitman should do. Arthur misled Harry on the phone and made Harry walk into the underground garage on his own initiative. Harry came to the underground garage and saw the scene before he realized that he was the target of an assassination attempt. Harry knew that Arthur, as the mechanic, would never break the killer's credo, so he let Arthur end his life. What makes a top killer kill his best friend without hesitation? Steve stood at his father's grave to visit and pray for him. Then Arthur took Steve back to Steve's father's house. This is how the two of them establish a connection. Steve thought his father was killed because of the carjacker. So Steve wanted to avenge his father's death. He went to the street to beat the carjacker after venting a few times at home. But when he was about to kill the carjacker, Arthur suddenly appeared. Because Arthur is a man of faith, he had to stop Steve from committing the crime of murder. Steve found Arthur the next day. Arthur, however, took Steve as his apprentice because he felt guilty for killing his best friend. He makes Steve learn the art of assassination under him. The target Arthur wanted to kill was a glamorous man, but in private he was the head of another assassin organization. Then Arthur himself carefully taught Steve how to disguise himself during the mission. This will allow them to get closer to the target and make him lose his guard. He provided daily instruction on firearms, methods of death, and causes of accidents. Steve quickly learned many of the skills of a killer under Arthur's careful tutelage. Steve saw Arthur's music machine in Arthur's house. When he went up to touch the music machine, Arthur stopped him. Then he told Steve how to execute the task to make the target look like an accidental death. On the day of the mission, Steve thought back to Arthur's previous killing methods, but it didn't feel like following that accidental approach to the assassination. He went straight to the target's home without following Arthur's instructions. Steve strangled the target at his home. Steve struggled with the target and then put the poison in his mouth. After his mission was over, Arthur just instructed him to finish the murder job cleanly next time. After the mission was completed, the boss behind the operation caught Arthur. He expressed his dissatisfaction with Arthur's completion of the mission. He felt that this mission was not in line with the agreement and gave Arthur another mission. Arthur had no choice but to take on this other mission. His new target was a human trafficker in the guise of a priest. At the same time, this man is also a drug addict, so the accidental death Arthur had planned for him could not be carried out. The two of them hide in the pipe and watch while they think of a new way to murder their target. When the men in the room leave, Steve proposes to kill the target directly, so the two of them quickly climb out of the pipe and suffocate the target. When the henchmen came back in, they were hiding in the pipe. Arthur aimed his gun at the man behind the mirror and shot the other men in a duel. The two of them were discovered and fled to the rooftop. They managed to escape from the target location by using the ropes they had prepared. But in order to escape and not get caught, they agreed to meet somewhere later and parted ways. Arthur saw a man at the station. He was the one who was sold out by Harry and led to his death. Arthur learned the truth from the man's mouth. It turns out that the boss's mission was exposed and Harry found out. So Harry was ready to report the matter. But the boss then used a trick to lure Arthur to kill Harry. Arthur learned the cause and effect 
and then killed the man and prepared to go home. The top killer is stopped and assassinated by someone on his way home. Arthur called his boss and told him to be ready for his retaliation. Arthur's home was also invaded by someone else. Steve was able to defeat the rest of the group through Arthur's guidance. Arthur returns home and asks Steve to get his weapons ready to avenge Harry's death. Just as Steve was about to take out his weapon, a gun appears and Steve suddenly realizes who his father's killer is. But Arthur doesn't know this is happening. Steve asks Arthur in the car if he had ever killed anyone. He couldn't forget. Then Arthur and Steve found the boss's subordinate's house. After coercing the boss's subordinate, they found out where he was. Arthur called the boss after learning the location of the boss. The boss was still trying to bribe Arthur with money. He did not know that the two of them had already entered the building and prepared all the assassination methods. Steve intercepted a bus. Arthur blocked all of the boss's exit routes. Then Steve's bus crashed directly into the boss's car before the boss died. He said something very crazy. They both shot their guns and finished their revenge plan. Then Steve and Arthur drove away from the scene. Steve was pretending to be relaxed in the car. He kept prompting Arthur about something. He wanted Arthur to admit that Arthur killed his father. But he didn't hear Arthur admit to killing his father. So Steve detonated the car with hatred. He intended for Arthur to die in a gas station explosion. Steve felt his revenge and returned to Arthur's home to play music and drive away. But he didn't know that all this was in Arthur's plan and arrangement. Arthur knew that Steve was a vain and rebellious man. Steve also died in an accidental death designed for him by the top killer the mechanic. Arthur is the only man who left the place alive. This is the end of the story. The ending of this story is very clever. The mechanic never fights unprepared battles and everything he experienced was under his control. The final scene of Arthur's escape is a testament to how good his professionalism is. At the same time, it also laid the groundwork for the second part of the movie.